Good morning all, it's the Devious Monkey here. Eh, it's going on 11 o'clock. Had a lazy morning. Of course, day job stuff intrudes a bit of an issue, so I had to put together a mail merge and send that out, and I need to sit there and do those damn forms. Now, it has not started raining yet. It's been very windy and it's overcast, but the shit is supposed to hit this afternoon, so we'll hold out as long as we can for that. I am on my way to the drugstore. I could show you the hood of the forerunner but suffice it to say that i ran out of sudafed yesterday and thought you know it's been pretty good i don't think that i'm gonna get it again i'll just hold off and then i walked out and i saw how much freaking pollen is on everything it's like three four times the amount that was out yesterday i don't think that that is a recipe for goodness so i am going to get some sudafed whilst i'm at the drugstore i gotta pick up my sport coat i forgot to do that on tuesday gotta go do that you know a couple little shitty errands but i I have to force myself to sit there and finish those forms today because I'm starting to get a lot of emails of being like, this is incomplete, da 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 da. So I gotta do that. And that's my reason for existing today, to finish those two forms. So that's what we're gonna do. So it's gonna be a pretty boring day, like a lot of them are. Eh. Okay, kids, I'm gonna share a little bit of the monkey madness with you. Here's how my mind works. This morning, I was reading an article online about the King of the Hill revival. There have been talks with Mike Judge about bringing King of the Hill back. It's a pretty popular show. I thought it was hilarious. And it went through and it was describing a bunch of episodes and all that kind of stuff. Of course, I'm going through episodes in my head and I all of a sudden started thinking about the restaurant that Buck Strickland owns, Sugarfoot's. And I started thinking, hmm, they had good barbecue. And then I started thinking, damn, now I want barbecue. So guess where the monkey's going? I'm heading to Beach Bully Barbecue to get some barbecue brisket sandwiches. <laughs> well, one for me, and then my wife is getting something else. But see, that's what happens to me. I could literally be watching Bob's Burgers and the kids will be in school in the lunchroom eating tacos and I'll be like, son of a bitch, now I gotta have tacos. You know, I mean, that's how impressionable I am when it comes to like off the cuff, go get food type situations. And my wife is exactly the same. I'm definitely going to be eating barbecue here in a few minutes. I'm heading there now. I was gonna do it for dinner, but then when we check the weather, it's like from five to midnight that we're supposed to be getting these severe electrical storms. So right now, it's not even raining. And I thought, fuck it, I'll just go now and get lunch. You know, I mean, there's always like a gross amount of food that you get with this stuff. So it could be lunch and dinner if we wanted to. So yeah, other than that, I still haven't filled out a single line of those forms <laughs> because I just don't wanna do it and I hate it and, and blah. So yeah, I gotta do that this afternoon, but I'm probably looking at an afternoon food coma of sitting there watching a movie that I've seen a thousand times and farting around on the internet whilst I digest my barbecue. Okay, let's go get some beef brisket. Barbecue has been gotten. Now it is going to be a torturous drive home smelling this and not being able to eat it until I get home. <laughs> All right, kids, couple of things are going on. Right now, we are going to FedEx so that I can ship the two ZV-1s and the three lenses that I sold to MPB. I didn't have a box at home and everywhere that I've been, it's just sort of been inconvenient for me to stop and buy a box and I kept forgetting to measure it, blah, blah, blah. So I'm just gonna have them do it at FedEx, hopefully. MPB actually emailed me and asked me if I was still interested in doing the deal, but that was on the first quote that I did with them. And in that one, I included the A7C, but they just didn't give me enough for the A7C. So I decided to take that out of the deal, but there was no way to change the quote, so I had to do another one. I did it with the two ZV-1s, the Sigma 85, the Sigma 24 to 70, and the Sony 28 to 70. And I accepted that offer, got a, a shipping label and all that kind of stuff, and I got everything pretty much ready to go. <sighs> okay, bombs away. I mean, it cost me almost 18 bucks to have them pack it and all that kind of stuff, but that's okay, peace of mind. It'll be done professionally, it'll be, super well packed not that i wouldn't do it that way but they can deal with it now so that's that now i have to decide if there's other shit that i need to do that i keep forgetting to do in other words finding a way to procrastinate more to not have to do those forms <laughs> i'm sure you're sick of hearing me bitch about it so that's the last time okay kids not sure if you can hear it but it is coming down outside it is crazy 
how quickly it went from meh to holy crap. So I got all my stuff done and got home and sat down at my desk and it started to rain. Total win. Okay, I'm just gonna clean this up with the last couple of things. I had somebody say, wow, that looks really heavy now after I showed you yesterday about putting the A7R4 into a cage with the 200 to 600. I also added a top handle. Why? So I can hold this some bitch because it's heavy. So here you can see it. I think I can kind of get it mostly in frame. There we go. So that's it. That's the camera. And you can see my arm starting to shake. <laughs> I put it on the bathroom scale and it came up to 6.2 pounds. Is that heavy? Absolutely it is. But anyways, if I put it on the cotton carrier, so it'll be resting on my chest and all the tension will be on the cage, I'm good to go. I'll have both hands free. Even if I bring this, the a7 IV, and have it strapped onto the second camera side, still hands free. Then I can pull one camera up, do what I gotta do, put it on the cotton carrier, pull the other one up. Now, if I want to not put the a7 IV on the cotton carrier because I wanna be able to just pull up and get a shot, I'll be walking around holding it like this. And then, then that way it'll be ready to go. Or sometimes I grab it down here and just hold it like this. So I'm good to go. But if I know I'm gonna be trekking somewhere and I still don't wanna put it in the cotton carrier, especially because I have to figure out how to eliminate that damn squeak, holding it like this will make it ever so much easier and more comfortable to carry. 6.2 pounds, not for the faint of heart. All right, the only other thing, oh, is that I, if I didn't mention it or I cut it out, I did do the firmware upgrade to the A7 IV. According to the, to the website and everything else I've read, basically it was just to fix the eye autofocus problem, which I don't think I had. Don't know, don't care. Hopefully it's fixed and it didn't jack anything else up. So now that I've got that firmware upgraded, I should be good to go till the next one. And hopefully they don't goof anything up like they did with my A6600. So that's it. Everything is going well, smooth sailing. But that's pretty much it. Now that it's raining, I have a, like a dozen things that I could do other than day job work, and I'm probably gonna do them. And just say the hell with it, I'm done doing day job work for the day, I did a bunch of other shit, I'm done with it, I'll do the form tomorrow. And that's that. So that's all I've got for you today. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, leave them down below. As always, thanks for joining me. Be sure to like and subscribe, and remember kids, forward and up.